Thank Recon you, Mr. Thank you. Chair, recognize Mr. Letourneau for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Based on everything I have seen regarding this issue, it is clear to me that government officials colluded with Twitter employees to censor the New York Post's legitimate reporting of the Hunter Biden laptop story. Democrats on this committee have so far characterized this hearing as unnecessary and a waste of time. I'd invite any of my colleagues across the aisle to talk to folks in Kansas, because I can promise you they do not feel that way. In fact, my constituents are very concerned, and rightfully so, that a social media company collaborated with a government entity and a political party to suppress certain social media accounts and filter news ahead of an election cycle. Americans deserve answers on this outright attack on our First Amendment rights, and I look forward to gaining clarity from our witnesses. Mr. Baker, your testimony focuses heavily on the fact that Twitter acted lawfully in its reaction to the Hunter Biden laptop story. But this isn't a criminal trial. It's a congressional hearing. I'm here because my constituents are genuinely concerned that they will be kicked off these platforms for any statement that managers at those companies disagree with. They feel that social media companies like Twitter are forcing them to play a game that they don't know the rules to. I, I want to know your opinion on if you think it is appropriate for people in positions of power to determine what information gets shared. If not, what criteria is acceptable for making those, de de those determinations? That's a, excuse me, sir, that's a very broad question on people in power. I'm not sure I can answer that uh, effectively uh, and, and address your. Could you try? Well, I mean, the Congress is in power. Congress is restricted by the Constitution of the United States. Uh, Congress passes laws. Those laws impact how, for example, private sector actors uh, exercise their power or spend their money, that type of thing. Uh, government agencies have to act in accordance with the Constitution, the laws you pass, internal regulations, executive orders. There's a whole panoply of, of ways that, um, that people in power, writ large, uh, are held accountable and have to comply with rules and regulations and laws and the Constitution. Mr. Chairman, I would like to yield the rest of my time to Mr. Jordan. Yield, Mr. Jordan. 